Hello and welcome to the first playthrough of the Bellaludi Rifles skirmish game. Um, we're going to talk a bit on uh, what you need to play the game, how it's working and um, well, what you need to play the game. Well, first of all, you're going to need a rule book. You're going to need <coughs> the commander dice. It's a D20 or 20 sided dice uh, with a 0, a 1, a 2 and a 3 and the B for blunder. Of course you're gonna need some extra dice as well, uh, normal D6s or six sided dices and you're gonna need some markers. Um, these are actually Dutch markers which I had made um, but uh, you can Download a sheet of markers on the on the website. It's www.bellaludi.nl/downloads, and you can get them there for free. And of course, uh, what you're going to need is miniatures. So here you see two units of infantry, both of 12 men, uh, led by a sergeant um, in each of the units. Uh, so there's one sergeant and 11 men actually, and there's the officer uh, who's leading both of these, par uh, these units. And on the other side of the veld is a boar entrenchment with uh, one unit of 12 boars, uh, one uh, captain and uh, four cavalrymen, that's a very small uh, unit. Uh, I've also put four infantrymen there so they can mount and dismount. Um, and it will be the British task to, well, get rid of the Boers over there. First we're gonna roll for initiative to see uh, which one goes first. And that would be the British. How does the command phase work? Well, uh, you have a number of orders available to your units um, and the number of orders you're able to give is determined by this dice. So for example, the first sergeant has rolled a two, so he can make, he can give two orders. Uh, simple as that. As you can see, the units are now in closed order. So uh, the first sergeant who rolled a two will, uh, he's a veteran of former uh, wars and against uh, skirmishes against the Boers. So he's gonna give the first order to go from uh, closed order to open order. Making his unit a little bit more difficult to hit. And then he's gonna say advance and that means she can they can move six inches forward whoops and there they go And then the second sergeant will throw for his orders and he rolls another two. And this sergeant has a bit uh, less experience so he's going to order uh, them forward two moves. In close order. And now it's the senior commander turn or lieutenant. And he also has two orders. Well, he's gonna give an order to himself first because he doesn't want to be left behind. So he's gonna move himself six inches forward. So he got two orders. He's gonna give one order to move to himself, which is six inches because he doesn't want to be left behind. And with the other order, he's gonna give this group the order to advance six inches further. Thank you. 
on to the shooting phase. <coughs> Both British units have moved, the commander has moved, so now it's time for the shooting phase. Um, the first unit is in open order, so they can throw one dice per rifle, which is 12 dice. In order to hit the boars behind the entrenchments, they're gonna need a six. Normally they would hit on five or six, but because of the uh, cover, it's now on a six. So there we go. And that's some pretty good shooting. That's one, two, three. So that means three boar casualties. Then there's the other group. Uh, which is in close order, which gives them a slight advantage when firing a folly. So they can throw one extra dice when trying to hit. Also on a six. And that's another two casualties. So. Two will move and one. So this is the first turn for the Boers. Um, first turn for the English was quite successful. Um, well, we'll have to shore up some defenses. So um, I'd like to dismount the cavalry and move them up uh, so they can uh, fill in the firing line. We're not leaving yet. So the cavalry commander will uh, throw for his order dice and that's two orders that's one to dismount and one to move so so they will dismount and they will move up to the defenses bringing another unit here okay well Then goes the other commander. The second poor commander has one order and he's going to use that to rally one of his troops. In this case, just removing the dice, the reminder dice, and, um, and be done with it. Then the poor commandant will has also only one order, so he's going to use that to uh, rally another soldier. I'm just going to put two there with the extra dice as a reminder. And now you can see that the unit uh, is now back to nine uh, individuals. So this is, the, this is truly the way to use the, the commander dice. Keep rallying. So the unit of nine Boers is opening fire on the group uh, of the British who are still in close order and therefore a bit easier to hit. So the Boers have one extra dice to hit and they're gonna hit on a five and a six. So they're gonna need 10 dice. And that's one, two, three, four. Four hits. And there's the other group of uh, boar. It's the, the, it was the cavalry, it's now the infantry. And these are four guys. And they're going to fire four dice on that British group in open order. So they're going to be a little bit more difficult to hit. They're going to be hitting on a six. And they're all misses. And that was round one. Well, some losses for the British in closed, uh, the group in closed order. Uh, some for the, for the Boers in uh, behind their defenses. Uh, Still pretty even, and now it's up. Uh, uh, we're gonna go to turn two. 
turn to initiative. And it goes to the Boers, the blue one. Well, the first Boer commander, it's the large group, nine guys. He rolls a three, that's more than enough, but he's going to use just one to rally one of his soldiers. And thus removing the marker again. The second uh, Boer commander with the, the four cavalrymen, uh, he's not going to throw the commander dice because uh, there's always a risk that you throw a blunder and uh, he can't use it really because, well, he is already in cover so it's hardest to hit uh, as it is and, um, well, uh, basically he's going to stay put right there. Now for the Boer commandant. He throws a zero. That means he doesn't do anything. Too bad. Uh, the large group of boars have been rallied. Another one. Uh, they're now 10 miniatures uh, firing at a group in close order. So that's 11 dice at fives and sixes. Two, three, four. Another four go down. Another four go down. And that means that that unit is now shaken because they've lost more than half of their troops. The other group of the four cavalrymen shooting with their rifles at sixes and pretty good throw, but alas, no casualties. And this completes round two for the Boers and it's on to the British who has some serious accounting to do. First I'm going to go over to the shaken unit that's over there and it's only four guys left. Um, well, I need to rally at least one guy, uh, but I will still be shaken because I started with 12 guys and I'm now, and when you're down to five, you're shaken, but uh, perhaps the commander can do something as well. So here we go. And it's a zero. That's too bad. No movement, no rallying, nothing. Then it's up to the veteran sergeant. What can he do? Should he press on? Should he fall back a bit? Maybe cover the, his, his other group? Um, well, let's see what he does. Two. So he's going to press forward. And now for the British commander, what can he do? He throws a three, that's good. So, as you can see, the commander is quite a bit away from his troops and he needs to be within 12 inches uh, to order them. So, and this is 12 inches, so he can't order those. He can order those, but it might be better if he were somewhere here. So I'm going to give him an order to move six inches forward and now he is within 12 inch of that group, within 12 inch of that group. He's going to rally one guy and this might be a novelty, it's just a guy coming back. Uh, just think of this as a minor wound, picking up his, uh, being startled, picking up his rifle again and getting back into the fray. And now for my third order, um, he can try to um, make those guys in loose order um, charge, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do another move, six inches more towards that group 
close enough to rally uh, the shaking group and close enough to give orders to the other group. And then it's on to firing. First, the shaking group, which is a group of five men, has an extra dive because they are in close order. Uh, normally would hit on a five, gets a penalty of minus one for being shaken and gets a penalty for uh, target in cover. So, but as we do, a natural six is good. So they're gonna need sixes. And they do, one. So there goes another counter. There you go, one casualty. Then the other group will fire and that's there's still 12 guys and they're pretty close to their targets. So let us check. They're within six inches. So that's good. That's going to give them a bonus. That's going to be 12 dice and normally they would hit on a five and a six plus one because they're within six inches so that's four five six but uh, target is in cover does so that's gonna be five six that might be interesting oh dear oh dear oh dear So there it is, the end of turn two. Uh, successful for the British this time, not so successful for the Boers. And uh, normally, historically, the Boers would uh, mount their horses and uh, trot off. But in this particular scenario, they're gonna stay put. So round three, who has the initiative? And it's the British. I'm gonna start with the commander of the shaken unit. And it's a zero again. He is truly shaken. Then the other British. Well, I think they're gonna get stuck in, but let's see what the dice says. Three, that's good. They're gonna charge. Oh, there you have it. Plenty of room. I'm going to discount these. Things because there's more than enough room to go over and around it. So there you have it. The boys do get a final shot as they fire away at uh, the, the guys who, charge, who are charging them. And then we'll have a melee. So the boys have nine dice and they're firing at a group coming at them in open order. So they're gonna need sixes to hit, but they're within six inches. So on a five and a six, they're gonna hit something. Oh dear, that's only one. And then the British commander is gonna roll his dice. And the British commander rolls his blunder. Let's see what happens. And it's a five. Forwards, one move. So not too bad. But this puts the, him effectively out of range with those guys. So here we have uh, the melee. Uh, it's nine boars against 11 Brits and the commander of the boars is also throwing in his lot with the rest so he's gonna add two dice to the to the melee so that's 11 dice for the boars hitting on fives and sixes and that's 11 dice for the British hitting on four fives and sixes because they are the ones uh, who initiated the charge So that's uh, two, three, one, two, four, that's 
it's five for the British and four for the Boers. So the Boers lose. So the Boers remove one, two, three, four, five, and this one. And are now shaken and the Brits remove four. And additionally, because the Boers have lost five to four, they're gonna uh, lose another guy as a prisoner of war. I don't have a loose miniature, so I'm gonna put one here. I've got one Boer prisoner, and those guys have been reduced to three, which makes them broken as well. And because they are broken, it will compl uh, surrender completely. So these four guys are now prisoners of the Boers, of our, sorry, of the English. And basically that means that the British have won this particular battle. So, so there you have it. The British have cleared the kopje and are now uh, rulers of South Africa again. Hope you like it. You've seen uh, how the Bellaludi rifle rules work, how the skirmish rules work of Bellaludi. There's lots more of them. Uh, as you notice, this was an empty uh, battlefield and there's rules for uh, houses, uh, walls, etc, 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 rough terrain, uh, we, you name it, it's all in there. So if you like it, uh, give it a go. Go to uh, www.bellaludi.nl slash winkel, that's W-I-N-K-E-L, should be coming up uh, in the picture right now. And well, press the order button and have fun. Okay, thank you very much.